Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a kind of like what I got for Christmas haul slash what we've been getting for our wedding haul. We get married in nine days and in today's world, it's way easier for people to order gifts online from your registry and then just like send them directly to your house. We registered through Bed Bath & Beyond and we've had gifts continuously show up at our house for the past couple of weeks. So obviously all of this is not for Christmas. I did not grow up with like gifts on Christmas being like a super big huge thing because my parents were divorced. So this is not all from Christmas, but this is kind of like or what I've gotten in the past like week and a half ish and it's all just sitting here so I thought what a great thing to do for a video so let's get started the first thing that we got is our dream vacuum cleaner we got this off of our registry it's from my aunt Monica and uncle Jeff this goes on both carpet and hardwood and it's easy to like take up and down stairs and all sorts of stuff and you can like take it like basically apart to like move it around and it's super easy and since we have four levels of our house we needed something very like mobile and lightweight and all of that and I'm so excited to try this we've been borrowing one of my aunt's vacuum cleaners since we moved in back in March so it'd be so nice to have one of our own especially with like Finn and all of his hair and mess that he just makes constantly. The next thing we got from our registry was this stainless steel pot. It's from David's side of the family. I've actually never met them. They live down in Florida, so they're not able to come, but they sent us this nice pot. I am so excited because this is like the perfect size to make like corn on the cob, and we are like a huge corn on the cob family in the summer, so that'd be so nice to make it for like everyone when they come over. We got this black and white super soft blanket from David's little brother Kevin for Christmas, and this will go upstairs with our black couch. We're gonna kinda make that like another like black themed room, kinda like my office. My dad actually got me these bear paw boots. They're kinda like Uggs, but not. <laughs> I did not want Uggs. Um, but they're just like these. They'll be super soft and warm and I have some of these that I've worn for like literally I think 11 years now and they finally ripped and broke. So new ones. Yay! I'm so excited! Alright, this is actually from two of my bridesmaids, Hannah and Leah. They got us this like, um, it's kind of like for parties to serve like chips and stuff for like chips on the outside and dip in the middle. And then it's monogrammed. I don't know how well you can see with like my lighting and stuff. But it's monogrammed with our initials and it'll be so much fun to use with all of the parties that we throw next up i got this taylor swift book it's actually like made by fans and stuff and doesn't really have anything to do with her but it's like a story of like a lot of different fans and this is from david's mom i'm obsessed with taylor swift so we always love anything related to her. For those of you who do not know, I'm a huge collector of nutcrackers and David's mom actually got me a really cool um, collection set of them this year. I used to love the Wizard of Oz also and so I got a bunch of Wizard of Oz themed nutcrackers. So obviously the lion, Dorothy, the scarecrow, and the tin man. From my dad, I asked for a new raincoat. I got some new socks some new Christmas slippers, and I only ever wear one kind of jean, and they're like fading color and stuff now, so he got me two nice new pairs of the only jeans that I wear, so love those so much. I told my sister that I wanted new leggings for Christmas, and so she asked one of the girls she was sitting next to in class one day about her leggings just like randomly, and she started raving about these leggings they're from amazon and so my sister ordered them literally on the spot but they have pockets and everything and apparently they're like the best leggings ever my sister ordered me a pair and then tried them on when they came and decided she liked them so much that she was going to keep that pair and then ordered me another pair so i'm excited to try those my brother got me this is from strawberry revolution it's like a photographer's like clothing website kind of with like shampoo and stuff I don't know but I got this it says portrait artist it's like a three-quarter sleeve shirt and then I also got I've wanted this sweatshirt forever I actually ordered it and then my brother just paid for it but <laughs> it's a boss babe sweatshirt it's in this awesome like cranberry-ish maroonish color and I'm so excited to wear it I'm obsessed with it and it's so soft on the inside too. David's mom also got me some pink fuzzy socks. If you missed my Christmas day vlog and listening to how we do gifts every year with our gag gifts, 
I will link it up here. But for my gag gift this year, I got this nice extra large t-shirt that says happy happy with a random man's face on it. So, love this so much. <laughs> I also got this little Fala -la, -la, la Llama plate. Llamas are suddenly a very big deal in our family. We think they're hilarious. So, llama themed gifts are always good for us. Again with the nutcrackers, my dad gets me a nutcracker every year with the year on it and this was this year's nutcracker. It has a little baby nutcracker on there too. My brother helped him pick it out. And then again with the theme, my sister, I get married in like what did I say, nine days? So my sister got me a bride nutcracker and it says Mrs. down here and I was just like that is so thoughtful and so cute and so unique. This is another item from our registry. We got this nice big pots and pans set. It has all the pans and stuff that we could ever need in here and I am so excited to have nice pans. This is from my Uncle Pat. I have wanted this so long. This is the Everly Well food sensitivity test. I have like such weird things like upset my stomach. I'll leave some weddings after having like a really nice dinner and like throw up in the parking lot because my stomach like can't handle some things and I'm never sure like what it is. So I asked David for this food sensitivity kit. I've actually wanted it for a couple years now. I finally got it this year and I'm so excited to go through and see what it tells me I'm sensitive to. If you guys are interested in a video on this, let me know. I would love to share. But I'm just so like excited to see like what like reacts badly with my body. It goes through 96 different foods and can like tell you a bunch of stuff about them. So super excited to try that. We got a variety of different candy. Even more candy. <laughs> more candy. I actually found these at Target for our stockings and neither David or I really like peppermint. So I found this one. It's a strawberry flavor candy kit. He loves like fruit flavors and then I got birthday cake so we're really excited to try those. If you missed my Christmas day vlog you didn't see the story behind these but I don't even know if you can see them but they're basically really nice big bedside tables. David made these by hand they're what I asked him to make this was my request this year and he like ordered these legs on Amazon and then built and stained this so that's like the first time David has ever done anything like building it or anything like that so I'm like super impressed with him but we did decide we're gonna redo our bedroom and we have like a really tall bed now and we're going down to like a like shorter platform bed so those will be way too tall so I'm not sure how we're going to adjust them but I love him so much for like putting so much work into my Christmas present this year he's so sweet and then the last thing that we got we actually got one of these we wanted this very bad, so we just told everyone when they asked what we wanted for Christmas, we said, we want a weed whacker. So, my dad got us a weed whacker, and he was like, I did so much research and so much time trying to decide, and I thought you'd go with the battery, and this, and this, and this, and small and lightweight. And then David's parents also got us a weed whacker. It's the exact same one, but the one that they got also includes the, like, different attachment for a leaf blower. So, we just have to take one back. But that's okay. Great minds think alike, you know? But I believe that that is it. Finn, come here! He's like, no. Come here! Come here! That is pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember to subscribe to my channel if you did. Oh, I got you! Mm, hi, baby! Finn got these nice little candy cane treats for dogs. And he loves them. Oh, I love you. Okay, you can go. <laughs> um, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Turn on your notification bell so you know when I upload my next videos. We're almost done with Vlogmas now, so it won't be every day anymore. But I'm so excited to share what's to come in 2020 with you guys, too. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And comment down below what your favorite gift of this year was. Now that I'm an adult, I like thoughtful gifts, I guess. So comment down below, David's birthday is coming up in a few months and I'm going to need some ideas to give him, like, for gifts. So if you're an adult and you, like, get things for people that are, like, untraditional, I would love to know to have some gift suggestions. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow for another video of Vlogmas. Bye!